International Festival of Democracy uh, looking at Nigeria deciding uh, who leads them, uh, basically at the level of the state houses of assembly and, of course, the gubernatorial level, uh, which comes this Saturday. But there's been so much issues emanating from the previous presidential and national assembly poll, which is almost a fortnight ago, and uh, results being rejected by the main opposition uh, 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 presidential candidate, al Hadja Tiku Abubakar of the PDP, is also causing a lot of issues here. But uh, looking at the outcome of the presidential poll, uh, consolidating on the outcome, is the crux of today's discussion. And discussing this with me from my airstream left, I have a clergyman, uh, Francis Waifu. Many thanks for coming, Francis. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And uh, next, I have a legal practitioner, uh, Chima Williams. Many thanks for coming, Chima. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, audience. And I also have another clergyman, uh, and he's no one else but Osage Godsent Erunse. My pleasure. Osage Godsent Erunse is also the affair president and also African director of African Emancipation Movement. Thanks for coming. My pleasure again. Thank you. We've been on the voyage of salvaging this country. Uh, basically looking at a presidential poll that uh, took place almost a fortnight ago. I choose to start with you, Francis Owaifo. There have been this hue and cry over the way it was conducted, the irregularities that is really making the uh, PDP presidential candidate, Aladji Atiku Abubakar, to say that he's rejecting the result, he's going to the court, he's petitioning the UN and other bodies in the international community. Uh, what do you make of this outcome? Basically now that we should be strengthening on the results so far declared? Yes, I, I want to say, um, when we look at the outcome of the result of the election, I mean, it shows that um, there were a lot of irregularities in that election. And um, uh, as INEC as a body, did they really fair way in that election? Because when we, we, a lot of agendas were set for INEC, and INEC, the stake was very high, and we felt that four years was enough for INEC to learn the ropes be able to know what to do, how to improve our electoral process and electoral um, uh, procedures. Yeah. We found out that this election that just took place, the presidential election that took place last fortnight ago, didn't really measure up to that um, expectations of Nigerians because a lot of a lot went down the drain. For example, you have you have um, a, a, a presented level of toggery. There was toggery, and in the broad daylight, we found out that. People just come to the police station not to vote, but what they do is to destroy the electoral, disturb electoral process by burning down election, ele election materials and also mm. driving people away from the process. So it shows that there was a lot that need to be, have been done that wasn't done in the, in the part of INEC and the security agencies. And you find out that again, where you have even presence of, presence of police, police were in some, some centers and they were not in some centers, talk has had a free day in dictating what happens in such centers. And overall, you find out that when such election is collated, collated and resources, resources announced, certainly anyone that, is deemed, that, that was deemed to have lost will not, will not accept such results because it wasn't credible, it wasn't free, it wasn't fair. Because in, in a standard where you have election that is free and fair and credible, whoever loses that election you don't need to tell the person to congratulate whoever, whoever was the, who won that such election. But in this process, you find out that what went down was, was something else. There are pictures we've seen that election didn't even take place in such centers, but people were just thumbprinting. Because I said, Anik told us before now that two, two fingerprints cannot go in because they, they, have, they, have, they have a process whereby when you thumbprint, as, as an individual, and that same tone print is detected, it, it, it automatically is invalidated. But what we saw was that people were tone printing in ballot papers, and such ballot papers were stuffed into the ballot box and were counted as votes. So to me, this election didn't feel good at all, and we have just taken some step backwards in our electoral process. And I believe that we must learn a great lesson from this one going forward. And the same year, the same day Nigeria was holding the election, a smaller country like Senegal also had the election that very day. And from the election, we found out that the election had 
a, a little a, a bit of progression from what, from what they had before. And those that lost and those that won, they hug themselves, and it, it shows that that's, it's supposed to be a fair contest and a fair process. Not by where you go into election, you are cheated in the process, and you, are, you, you find out that even the system, the system which is the government, the system, the, the government system helps to aid the toggery and helps to aid the, the, rigging, the rigging process. To me, that is unacceptable. Thank you. Contest. Thank you, Francis Wife. Just so let uh, the uh, viewers know that uh, the opinion generated, uh, the opinions of the makers and not that of independent television. Uh, but uh, let's go back to you, Chima. Uh, those issues come in. It has been featured that substantially it was credible. Substantially, uh, it was violence free. Uh, we only featured some a few places where there was a violence. But even though that there were some violence in such few places, does it really um, discredit the polls? Well, um, you see, I, of course, as you rightly um, informed, the opinions expressed are the opinion of the individual makers. Uh, but when individuals make opinions, you know, you should make opinions that are verifiable. Because what my, um, what my friend talked about is what he saw on the social media. And let us not forget the credibility of an election is not what happens on the election day alone. From the beginning, before, mm. during, mm. And, and after, after. are uh, what you know, constitutes the credibility or otherwise of an election. Mm. Now let's take the events before the election proper. Everybody would have, every critical observer and follower of our democratic experience, you know, will already have concluded that there is no way any of the major parties was going to accept the outcome of the election. Because from the onset, people have already disagreed with it you know, with the contest before it even began. So there was no way, okay, it wasn't a surprise that, you know, the lead opposition presidential candidate disagreed with the outcome of the election. But it I will tell you this, it wasn't a surprise to me. It wasn't a surprise at all. Because that disagreement had already been on there. If we followed, we sat here to discuss, you know, the accusations and counter accusations from the lead leading, you know, political actors or political parties. So, which had set the stage for disagreement with whatever the outcome is. Okay, but when you say it wasn't a surprise, is it not also, are you not also saying that the, the opposition or some of the players uh, expected that such a thing will happen? And so that was why they were really uh, talking about it even before the election. But now, now, now it happened now, confirming what they now, said. Now, is that what you mean? That is not what I mean. Okay? Because when I said it was not a surprise, it was because we analyzed it here. The incumbent government was acting like an opposition party, and the lead opposition party was acting as if it was the, you know, government in power. Somehow. Which doesn't pan out well now, for now, a which, democracy which, which, which meant, as practiced in Nigeria. Yes, which meant okay. that if the opposition had won, the government in power would have disagreed. Mm -hmm. Just the same way that the government in power has won and the opposition has disagreed. Yeah. But what should we, as those that are enlightening the public, discuss? Do we flow with you know, the position of these major actors. No. I want to analyze based on what I had transpired because none of us, you know, was in all the places. Mm. So whatever we are saying is based on the information we gathered from other places outside of the place that we were. Mm. So if you talk about where you were and then you say that I witnessed this happen in my presence as somebody had said it, you know, on this platform, that in where I was voting, you know, this happens in your analysis of the elections. Mm. That is an eyewitness account. But what we are reporting and discussing is based on the information that we gathered. And in such, yes, prior to the election, the activities of both lead parties, you know, left a lot 
to have been desired. Okay. Because the stage was set. I am coming, and during the election, honestly, we didn't get it 100% right, and it will never be 100% right, because we are growing. But can we look and uh, congratulate Nigerians for conducting themselves peacefully in majority of the places? We all have been witnessing elections in Okay, so, 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 so in summary, you agree that it's been substantially free and fair? If, as at today, yeah. people are not killing themselves because I disagree or I agree, okay, which have been the hallmark of our electoral process, especially in this dispensation, okay? And if the lead opposition party, you know, have said, well, I disagree, but I am following the due process of law, that is, that is, that is learning, that is an improvement. Okay. Rather than engaging in self-help, you know, you are towing the line of dissent Okay, let me pause you there. Thank you. Thank you. Let me pause you there. Oseki Gosen, we've always had this issue, and it's almost impossible to see any polity where there are perfect elections. Yeah. But we've had this, and uh, if we take our minds back before the election, there were so much negative prophecies and so much expectations that this election is going to tilt towards a very violent kind and is going to bring about a huge voter apathy and even with the insurgents brazing up to ensure that the polls are scuttled and all of this. Now, we've had it and it's passed. Don't you, uh, to some extent, say that it's laudable to a great extent where we never saw such expectations that will substantially mar the elections? Or what's your drive on that? Uh, let me begin by saying that no doubt it's laudable. But we are not saying that because it is the main uh, party in power that's the one. You see, um, like my colleague here have said, if we go back before the election... We are not saying that because have, it's the main party in power that's still all, won. That is my yeah, own opinion. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, that's yeah, my yeah, own yeah, opinion. Were you, were you expecting the otherwise? You see, when you go to history, you, you see that, uh, for me, from my own take, uh, the main party has been a little bit um, quite um, uh, very extreme in their approach of things. It, one of the things I've always said on the social media, on me, uh, stations, is this. You notice that there are things you do that give room for suspicion. The reason why you can see that there are a little bit of reactions from here and there is because there are things that happened before the election that gave room for suspicion. Before the election, we had the issue of Amina Zakari. We had the issue of, uh, what's the name, um, uh, electoral reform that was not signed. We had the issue of the sack of the CJN. Okay, uh, which many have a uh, question and say, why not just wait for the election to be over? Now, these already have made quite a number of people to lose confidence in the system. Now, this election 2019 and 2015, I must give it to Nigerians. If you are talking about the credibility of the electorate and the peaceful manner with which they conduct themselves, I'll give it to the electorate. It was fantastic for, to for, see for to 2015 or 2019. For 2019 okay. I would give it to the electorate. Okay. But I would not give it to the main political parties. Okay, because before this election, they did things that heightened the polity, that made it become very acidic, that made people begin to fear for their life. Prior to the election date, a lot of people left this country. Is it not the reason why a lot of persons also, also argue that the, it would have been wise, it would yeah. have been matured if the opposition uh, uh, party presidential candidate, Alajati uh, Kwabaka, accept the no, fate? It doesn't have to. Is a right. Second. But in 2015, the incumbent president then yes, accepted the Because face. we had a human being as a president with a human face and a human heart. You know, but I, you still have a human during day. the election, because before the 2015 election, I think, election, I think, me, I think, I think, I think that is suggestive said. because yes. we still have a human being. And I'm not going to talk about that, but I want to talk about from what you said. Okay. Now, um, for me, I, I, before the 2015 election, I, I'm not a, I wasn't a fan of good luck. But after what happened in that election, I became his fan. Because it takes a man that has a heart for a nationhood to do that. Do you know what it took Kubensi in Nigeria? 
Uh, we have said it several in this podium. There's so much power concentrated on the federal that anything can be done if they don't want to. Now, now that's another day's discuss. But when you say something is progressive, what is progressive? When you talk about progressive in the context of progressiveness, it means it's an improvement. There's an improvement on the former. Okay, if you are going to say fine, there's no election where there will be no violence, but at what rate? For me, at this time, we could still have this kind of election. It's a shamble and it's a call of the fact that we need to revamp okay, okay, but, the, but, but, the INEC, but, the electoral but system. Let's look at the now, elections generally. Uh, Can we say we have perfect elections anywhere, even in developed politics? No, we can't say we have perfect elections, but okay. imperfection so, is rated. If you look at this election compared to 2015 election, I mean, apart from the fact that we saw things on social media, the, the media stations, you reported a lot of things which we know were true. There okay. were videos to authenticate, uh, authenticate that. I'll come back to you. I'll come okay. back to you. Francis Waifo, let's look at this because the whole essence of this discourse is to ensure that we consolidate on the outcome of the election. Now, we've had the presidential poll and it's gone. And there are issues emanating from this corner. Basically, where some financial analysts are saying that all of this rejection of result could uh, lead to uh, a risk in the stock market. And that could also go a long way to also affect the economy. Uh, now, what do you make of this? Because some say, why don't allow sleeping dogs lie? If you hold the country at esteem, uh, then you should also toe the line that the former president, Goodluck Jonathan, told. What do you make of this? Well, I, 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 it's individual differences and individual what everybody wants to achieve. Because it truth is that, just like you mentioned before I answer this question, you mentioned if there's, going to, if there's any perfect election in the world. I would say yes, there is. You can make your system perfect. It depends on your preparation and your structure. If you say there is, yes, there is. Can you can you give an example? Let me give an example. <laughs> Let me give you an example. You see, the way you prepare, the way you lay your bed, that's how you lie on it. Election is a process and a procedure. Process in the sense that you plan to get to get to be to make it better. What stops Nigerians it going to electronic voting system? That is how you should get better. These are crude method and modern method of doing the election where you, where, you, where you encourage people to steal ballot buses because you are still doing it manually. Papers still fly about. But in every process, there, there, is, something. In every process there are stages. No, there are stages, but... We, and we, even, we, we, and we, even the president even, to get to that even spoke about the electoral, uh, act, the electoral amendment bill for 2010. Fine. Which it says that it will be looked into to ensure that it is passed. It ought to have been looked into so that we can you see. We, we, most of our electoral elites, they travel abroad. They see what happens in civilized world. What they do, they copy the bad part. They don't bring in the good part to, to implement. I, my younger sister participated in Canada, Canada election last year. She was an ad hoc staff in Canada. She said there was no restriction. It was, it was, done, it was done via electronic, electronically. And things worked. There was no, there was no sh gunshot. Nobody died. Every process went flawless. How the how we, we have she only told you that. Yeah. She, she only told you that. You cannot no, 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 verify no, no, that. No. Where and, I voted, let me tell you. And, where and she, she just represents herself. No, 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 let me tell you. About about various persons that, that no, 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 it is, it is not that I, it's, see, where I voted in Okoro, yeah. I voted in the polling youth. Not that okay. my brother just mentioned, I voted. Yeah. Where I voted, I have the record in my phone here. As, the, as, as they were counting, some boys came from nowhere and set the materials ablaze. What do you call that? Is that an election? Is that high election to come in a country like Nigeria where we are 58 years of age in independence? But, if that, but, but, so but in, a whole, that, in, a, in a percentage of 100, if we can get that 3%, featured in some places among See, Philip, 100 percent do you think that is also laudable no, 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 we don't have the indices to verify that. must be said. Yeah, we don't have the indices to verify that, but substantially, it's most been argued centers, that it was most free. centers what about the issue of good buying? Okay, I'll come back to you. Most centers had the same issue. Yeah. Bond, Togri people coming to destroy, and some names that were mentioned in the state, even, let's look at those centers as a yastic. In your station, it was reported names were mentioned. Party chieftains in the state here. No one has been arrested. Okay, let's put that behind no us. No one has. Let's put that behind us. Let's look no, at no, no, how we are going to forward forge ahead because now we have a we need to keep time. Okay, yeah. we have to ensure that yes. if we don't correct the past, okay. we can't get it right because what happened in in in, in, in on the on the twenty third will still repeat itself. And remember that they're going to be voters' apathy. People will not be afraid of their life. 
I don't want to go to, I don't want to get, I don't want to get, get killed when, when you go into the polling unit. And because, again, they will say my, my vote won't even count. And that is the, that is the greatest problem and vo voters' apathy that comes to the, my vote won't count. And if, if people, you will find out that the, 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 the percentage of electorate going to the voting, going to vote, is going to drop this time around. It's going to drop. And that's why the government has a lot to assure the people of safety and their vote that their vote is going to count in the, in the process. As you, as you asked, all these things that is happening in the, in, in the politics, said it's going to affect the stock, it's going to affect the economy. I, I learned some few days after the, after the election about 80, 85 billion dollars was pulled from the economy. Some foreign agencies pull out their, their because they were not sure of what is go, the outcome of the election, whether the mayor position is going to accept or not. So you find out that a lot is going to happen in, in the financial in the, because your certainty that will come in now, the, the, the mayor position is going to cut. You know, the outcome of the court is going to take process from the tribunal, from the, from the, from the, from the other stages of courts. And you find out that people are, people are talking here and there. It is right to go to court. If you think, if you think that your, your, your right was infringed upon, you should have to go to court. Mm. Nobody can stop anybody from going to court. You let him go to court. He's not, going to, he's not spending anybody's money. He's not wasting anybody's time. It's, it's, at it's at least it's right. better than resorting to self-help. Good. So people would have taken up arms and start yeah. killing yeah. anybody in the country. But thank God, Nigeria, everything has been peaceful. People have been going about their businesses. But let the person that, 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 was, that felt cheated in the process, yeah. Yeah. let him go to court and and let the court decide what happens after, after then. Okay, well, all of this, uh, even the president said that in the next four years, it's going to be tough. Uh, but we'll always have this situation where a lot of persons uh, uh, misconstrue uh, what the president says. But looking at the capsules that the president really brought about, even while he was campaigning for the first time, uh, which is on corruption, fighting corruption, and uh, boosting the economy, and also uh, t fighting terrorism, going tough on this three agenda. Uh, what do you think of this? Don't you think that's as a lady express uh, content of what the president meant? Well, I am not the president's spokesperson. <laughs> and I don't know, you know, uh, the mind of Mr. President, that if we take what is on ground first, before we talk about the, um, uh, what president, Mr. President means by things being tough, you know, can we look at the essence of our sitting down here discussing is to make sure that things get better. We are not called upon here to celebrate, you know, the wrong things, okay? But to advocate for solutions to the perceived wrongs that we saw in the process to make the next one better. better. Now, going through this, why will Togri not happen when the talks knows that the security officials that are at the polling units are unarmed? Okay? So, which means their presence there is just as good as the, the presence of the ordinary voter that has come to cast his or her vote. Because there is nothing, the security personnel are not superhuman. The thing that puts fear in the minds of people is that they are legally armed to an extent, you know, to stop certain things from happening. So, but even at that, does it prevent other security uh, personnel with arms from uh, staying around some strategic places to intercept such hoodlums? That is the point that I am making, okay, because this is where the INEC and the security arrangements, you know, was flawed. Yeah, the lapses. The lapses. So, going into the next elections, we'll, we will expect that, yes, you should not carry arm to stand where I am casting my yeah, vote. Yeah, in the polling unit. Okay? But there should be some level of, you know, armed security within some distance to ensure yeah. that nobody comes in, Just hit the, me, yeah. and walk out, walk away quietly. But that is the expectation. That is the, that's, that's, that's actually the expectation. Yes, now. Because, because, because now, it didn't go that way. Now, it didn't happen that way. That is why we had mm. the incident of burning, yeah. which never happened, you know, in previous elections. In previous elections, we only witnessed or hear about people snatching, snatching ballot boxes and running away or not, stuffing ballot boxes. But to have the effort to bring fire, to, to bring fire, 
into the election arena and gathering the electoral materials and setting them ablaze. It's because there is nobody that will, you know, use any kind of force to stop you from doing that. Okay? So this INEC and the security officials should look into going forward. And of course, the manual process that we are doing, we have seen the flaws inherent in it. This is a time for Nigerians yes. to begin to advocate that next election, yes. if it is not electronic we'll vote. voting, we will vote. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay? Because uh, are, you, Trump are, you, was, are you trying to stampede the government? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no we are not yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that am, is that that I is. I am making a suggestion. That, that, that is, is coming the, in stages. That is that a, is coming in that stages. That is in an extreme mm. situation. Mm. But of course, you know because that we've also condemned on this pla nations, on this platform nations, vote buying. Yes, that everyone should ensure that uh, he, he doesn't sell his vote. <laughs> yes, but they still as have a it it's happened. It's yes. happened before yes. our eyes. Yes. So even if you say that they no, shouldn't no, vote, no, no, they no, 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 you are going what to see saying, the other way. What we are saying, but let's let's what set, we are saying let's is set, okay credibility mm. of electoral process. You know, yes, we must practice and see that. What we have tried, mm. is it efficient or is it deficient? Mm. Move forward. Yeah. And then we should graduate. Yeah. I, I, think, I, I think what you're just saying is uh, for the night uh, uh, assembly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are we not which, talking about which, agenda which, setting? Which we're we're no, are we not talking yes. about yes. agenda yes. setting? Yes. So do I have to go to the <laughs> night <laughs> assembly <laughs> first <laughs> to begin to lobby them? If I say it here, they are yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah. start from here. Mm. Some who think the same way I think, among those that have been elected, we already note it and begin to work on it. Yes. Okay. So that is without the necessarily uh, yeah. generating a chaos. The chaos. Yeah. That is that is why we are here. No. Without of necessarily course. making the citizens to stampede government. No, no, no. Of course, <laughs> you, know? you must talk okay. about. So it should follow the due processes. processes. Yeah. The processes. Okay. Okay. When you talk about not voting, hmm, is that is the last, the extreme situation which no government will want its citizens to get to. Mm -hmm. But if government knows that her citizens yeah. can get to that level, yes. they yeah. want to stop it before it happens. They want to be proactive rather than being reactive. Yeah. Okay? So this is why we must begin to talk. If we were not talking the way we thought, I am sure that this election would have been bloodier than as yeah. it is. Yeah. But because we've been advocating and telling Nigerians, yeah. If you kill yourself for a politician, mm -hmm. he will not even remember you mm -hmm. because he doesn't want to be associated mm -hmm. with the talk. Mm -hmm. There are no two ways about it. The money he paid you to commit that talkery, that is your settlement forever. Okay. If you die, he won't come for your uh, to attend your uh, uh, funeral. Okay, but my question is still begging now, for an answer. Now, <laughs> when Mr. President yes. talked about you know getting tough. For some of us, we had analyzed it. As, for me, as, as for the me, custodian of the law. For me, yes. I have said that one of the things that I will advise Mr. President, this is the second time. He's not going to ask for Nigerian votes again. So he's not going to look at any big man's face mm -hmm. to support his campaigns or otherwise. So being tough is that nobody will be spared. Okay, so that, are, are, are you that saying, is positive for me. Are you me? saying, yes, okay, okay, okay. For me, that is positive. If nobody will be spared, no matter how, how highly placed or lowly placed you are. Let's go back to what you said earlier. Yeah. You said uh, he's not coming back again, as in uh, begging for votes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, yes. it's not because he's, he's going doing to campaign again. Term. And so this time he's going tough. Yes. Yeah. Because, uh, because, because Should this I give him reason to go tough? Yes. Because he's not coming back again. Yes. Because a president that wants to get things right. Some could also feel that. Some, some, way, some, way, some could also feel, feel that. That could be. Wait. Okay. A president that wants to put his name on gold in the annals of the history of his country, knowing that you cannot fight corruption with kid gloves, you cannot fight insurgency with kid gloves. There is no pretense about it. If you must fight corruption, if you must fight insurgency, you must hurt people. There are no two ways about okay, but it. But some, some could also argue that going tough based on what you just said yes. empirically yeah. could mean that uh, since it's not negative. coming back again in the negative, then he would do everything possible to make sure that he even does things against the rule of law. Now, which has been 
which has been listening in to what contention. I said. No, listen to what I said, okay. Philip. Yeah. I said a president that wants to put his name on gold. Yeah. Okay. So you can decide that toughness to be in the negative. It is it is to your own disgrace. Because we have seen those presidents in African history who were tough in the negative, how they were disgraced. Becoming okay? autocratic. How they were disgraced. And then we have equally seen those that have been tough, you know, in the positive that are still being remembered. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for me, this in the positive. I want to interpret yeah, that in Mr. President means in the positive to get Nigeria working. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's get uh, your comment uh, on yes, that. Yes, yes. Before that, I, I want to call for the uh, immediate persecution of those thugs that have been arrested. See, I always say that it is easy to get it right in this country. Sometimes we try to be economical with the truth. About 323 persons by the uh, Inspector General of Police said yesterday, we arrested. We want them prosecuted to serve as a deterrent in the forthcoming election in the years to come. Mm. Then beside that, we also want the law to go for their sponsors, their tax masters. Yeah. That leads them to See, the political yes, party. Of course. Actors. See, yes. that is what yes. I'm always talking about. It's easy to get it right. Yes. We yes. only try to say yeah. we are not Canada, we are not America. But it's how, just how easy if there's a political will but if it gets there, to get this country but working. But if it gets there, there could be possible frictions. And then what, that is the reason why we have change. The president said he came with change. And he believes in the rule of law. If we don't, those talks don't just become talks by themselves. So that could also, Will mean, you say anybody, that could also mean what it meant by going tough. Thank you. Okay. It could also mean, like you said, but if Not you say anybody who is, whatever, yeah, but gone. if you send anybody okay. to the um, pulley unit without ammunition and without money, obviously there will be no talks. So we want to call for the immediate prosecution. They should, we don't want to hear as Nigerians because yeah. we are going to react on this that these people are let go. Because their masters call and say, those are my boys, release yeah. them. No. They should be immediately prosecuted. Then we will begin to have confidence in our electoral processes. Then let me also say that, um, you see, when the president talks about tough decisions, governors demand tough decisions. In fact, with our current situation as a nation, we need leadership that can be tough. But not tough in along mm -hmm. ethnic or religious divides mm -hmm. or partisanship. We must save this country. We must rescue this country away from a, over exalting our political party and project the interest of our nationhood. We, we want to see the president taking the corruption fight across parties. It doesn't matter who you are. Like I've already said on this uh, platform, every sane Nigeria will support the fight against corruption. But we need it to be sincere. We want to see some of the people that have been indicted and accused being prosecuted. We don't want to see that some people are above the law. We don't want to perceive that. Then the issue of security. Just yesterday, there was another issue in Zafara and um, Benway. You know? We want to see the president being tough, issuing a standing order on the security agencies to deal decisively with insurgency. Okay. One of the pains that and we even, have and, in even, this and even the aspect of corruption, like we have allegations over uh, uh, Article son in law uh, laundering uh, money uh, Anybody up, up that to is about 150 well, million. Yes, we also pounds. have accusation against the current uh, isn't that chairman. Going tough? We have accusation yeah. against the current APC mm. chairman, against Amitra and all of them. We want to see them going in for it if they are okay. guilty. They should face the blues. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Every one of them. They should, we should, they, themselves they, they should the expose themselves and go through the process. Yeah. That is when we can have confidence that we have in Nigeria of our dream. Okay, thank See, you. See, one of the things I want to say on the last note yeah. is that this new administration has the sole responsibility to reclaim the confidence of Nigerians. And that has to do in terms of security. We, we cannot run a country where we continue to deceive ourselves in the name of the insurgency everywhere in the world. What is the percentage and the rate in the Nigeria contest? I mean, people just die with ease. It's not cheap to die. It's so easy to die. You know, our security not system to die, is to porous. Be to be killed, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy to be killed. Our security system is porous, and we want the president to be tough on that. Then the issue of unemployment, you know, we want the president to be tough on that. The issue of minimum wage, you know, this, this civil servant should not be punished. The issue of industrial strike, 
Last uh, year, we witnessed a lot but, of but that. But there's already relief in that direction. Uh, but it should be implemented. Numbers. We want to see it implemented. The it toughness you know? of Mr. We want to see it in implementing it. In implementing it. That's what we are talking about. Sale. So it will take tough decisions to yeah. drive this nation. Because there are a lot of people that care more about their personal interests than our connectivity. And that's exactly what we want the president to be tough on. Thank you. We've had all of this and the Eighth Assembly, uh, the presidency, uh, having loggerheads over issues and that. But the next four years, uh, looking at the outcome of the election, uh, the presidential poll, uh, what do you see as indices that should be put in place for the National Assembly and uh, presidential uh, body to be in harmony? Just like we've just analyzed. Okay. The, the, the president, he, he, he should put his foot on ground and look at things that didn't go well last, 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 last term. Last term. A term had just passed. Yes. And um, you, you found out that, I remember the first lady came out to tell Nigerians that there are two powerful men in court that were running things in this country. Probably that's where Mr. President he wants to be tough. He wants to take over the government from those two people. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. And, and when, you are charge, when you are in charge, as alleged, you, when, mm. <laughs> when you are in charge, <laughs> you call the shots. And when you call the shots, you find out that everything falls into place. All those powerful men behind the scene that are some really, whether we like it or not, whether it's presently said it or not, there are powerful men in this government that runs things behind the scene. They are untouchable. Write a thousand, a thousand petitions against them. They are not checked. It happens in every strata, don't no, you think wait, so? Wait, wait. Right, right. Uh, whatever, whatever there, there's always a check. So right now, I always believe, a check behind I believe the Mr. President, okay. in, in uh, collaboration with the sixth, in ninth assembly, now his party is going to have a majority in the assembly. Okay. Yes, because okay. what we have seen, he has more of his party coming into the national assembly. So I believe he's going to have a, a free atmosphere and a free uh, passage of all his bees or whatever that will make his governance be, be favorable and positive to Nigerians. Because we want to see a robust economy. What I would like to know, we don't want to be the poverty, we don't want to be poverty of, of, of the world anymore. We have all the resources in this world to get out from that poverty level and become a country that, is, that can sustain itself and can feed its nation. What in, uh, the biggest injustice can do to a man is for a man to, see, to live in abundance and be seen in abundance and become poor in the process. We have abundance in this country. To be poor in the midst of abundance. Yes. And that is where we have found ourselves in this country. And I, I, I want Mr. President to wear the thinking cap and bring in men and women. He should not look at party this time around. That's the truth. Part. Bring expert. If expert is in what party that doesn't have a name, whatever, he's a Nigerian, whatever is in this globe, get him. This is my last. You see, if I were Mr. President, what I would do is that I want to be, I will become a statesman. I will jettison party politics. I will jettison regional politics. I will jettison whatever ethnic politics. I want to become a statesman like those people before him that you can mention. They're my Ziki Way. They're my Wall of War. And bring in men that can change things in this country in the educational sector. Yeah. In power. Even if it means not rewarding cronies. Yes. Yeah, of course. They campaign. <laughs> I heard them campaigning that. Uh, <laughs> even in those, I heard they Don't campaign you think that, that would be a big one? Now, don't you think that would be a big tussle between not the president and the party? Cronies. Yes. If, if as a, I'm because a contractor. He has, he has already made a promise that he's going to reward uh, persons. No, 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 so, no. no. So, see, so, see, so, see. So, so, so going no. by that, uh, what, what pedestal do you uh, put the president in that respect? You see, Mr. President, people campaigned for him. People brought in the finances. He can patronize them wherever. But when it comes to critical and sensitive positions that have to border on human life, like, for example, we have powers. I was talking about power. Yeah, you shouldn't do that in terms of security. Power has been a, mm. a problem in this country. The private admission tried to sell the power, privatize it. It has not worked, meet the desired, desired result. He should get experts, even if they are not Nigerians. You can go anywhere, get experts, and put their heads together. Even if they are not Nigerians? Yes. Do you mean to say that we don't have experts in Nigeria? Even wherever they are, provided they are experts <laughs> that, that have uh, one thing in mind. Job done. That don't because have, that, don't because have that could also generate another issue. <laughs> no, uh, should, but that's not the topic for today. Okay. Be, let, me, <laughs> see, let me go to, let me, let me go to, when you go to Zambia, Zambia Power Corporation you know, is run by the Chinese. Yeah, but, 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 but they are run by the let's, Chinese. let's put this straight. Yeah. No, 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 no. A lot of brain drain that we notice in this nation. Now, we have 
the best of Nigerians in, 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 in other countries. They're everywhere. So I Nigeria want to believe that we have the best. best. That's why I say. So we can call them back. Why can they not perform here? The system. Yes, 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 the system. Then say the system right. Let me tell you something. Mr. President went to UK on medical treatment. His lead consultant was a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. His lead consultant was a Nigerian. But the man, the man can't perform here. No, because the system is not just right. Mm. You have a, you have epileptic power. You can't you can't carry out surgery without power. Yeah, power. You don't you, then you can't do there are some some, some equipment. things you can't carry equipment. They're not there. not there. You have teaching hospitals, they are not teaching hospitals in nature. They are just teaching hospitals in names. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to teach incoming medical doctors mm -hmm. the rudiment of doing certain things. They're not there. Mm -hmm. So I want Mr. President to, as I said, even if they are not Nigerians, and not just that, we have Nigerians in diaspora yeah. that are proficient, good in all aspects of life, being teachers. Even Liberia, Liberia wanted teachers from Nigeria. You are one of them. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I think Nigerians, when, they, when the atmosphere is right, when they see that the atmosphere is right for them to perform, we can perform even in the least atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you for that very, very good contribution. Well, uh, in case you're just watching as TMI Tuesday, uh, we're looking at issues emanating from, we're looking at a presidential poll consolidating on the outcome. And I've been having a very resourceful chat with, uh, 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 with Francis Owaifo and the legal practitioner here, uh, Chima Williams, and of course, Osage God sent Aaron said, thank you for still being with me. Uh, well, let's, let's take it further to possible defections among political party members. Now, we are beginning to see drifts, even on the headlines. Uh, party members defecting from one party to another. Now, what do you, said, what do you think uh, should be done? What is your advice, and uh, how can this menace? A lot of persons see this as a menace, because we see cross capital from one party to another is really building a negative thought in the Nigerian uh, circle. So what do you have to say in that respect? Well, I, I think I have said this time and time and time, and I even had made a written contribution okay. to the National Assembly really? you know, during the constitutional amendment processes okay. on these issues. Okay. One is that it is because there is no ideological party. Yes, we keep hearing that. But that is why. How do we evolve? People, how I do we coming. evolve ideology? Philip, I am coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think that yeah, is missing, I, I am coming. Okay. Because it is a whole lot of issue, you know, that is involved. Yes. Okay. Now, because there is no ideological party, so people go into political parties as business. Yes. And for a businessman, you will always look for <laughs> where <laughs> your <laughs> bread and butter <laughs> will be water. You know. Easily. So you don't want to lay any foundation. You don't want to build any process. You don't want to do anything. You just want to reap. That is why people can easily, you know, move from party A to party B without qualms. Hmm. And if by tomorrow, what they were looking for in party B, they don't get it, they go back, back. to the, their previous party yeah, A. Yeah. And they will be received mm -hmm. without yeah. asking mm -hmm. questions. So can there be a regulation? Now, can now, there be a regulation now, on that? Let me that. tell you mm. what... I suggested to the constitutional amendment process okay. that it should be enshrined in the constitution that if you are in party A, because it is most pronounced by those that have captured mm. elective positions using party structures. Yeah. Mm. If you use the party structures of party A, because individuals don't win election, yeah. it is parties that won't win elections. So if you use structure A to win election and you want to go to structure B, leave whatever that you took from uh, structure A for them. You go over. No, no, but, but don't you think that would be an issue? Because by the very fact that you came through a party, yes. as much as you've now started assuming the role yes. uh, in the office that you are occupying, mm -hmm. You are not just representing the party. You are representing your constituency. Yes. You are representing Nigerians. Yes. So yes. How do you no, see no, that? No, no, how no, do no. you draw? Now, or how now. do you connect this now, now, disparity this is, position? This is, this, is, this is where Nigerians yes. have not really, and even the party structures that we have, have not really lived out you know, their responsibilities. 
Okay? Now, a party A that you went into have their programs, they have their uh, manifesto, mm. they have, you know, what they think they want to do that you used to sell yourself to the electorate that you are going to do XYZ as contained in your party programs and manifestos. Okay. Okay? And based on that belief, okay, the people, first, the party believed in you and gave you their platform, gave you their logo, because it is the logo of the party that you vote for. Yeah. So it's only right for you to, okay, so to, to drop that you, position. If you drop, <laughs> if you if you drop my logo, mm -hmm. you cannot, honestly, you cannot. NCP tried it to say that, look, in a kitty state where a House of Assembly member won under the platform of NCP okay. and there was no problem and he wanted to decamp. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the issue now is that Nigerians must, you know, begin to implement and test the letters of the laws that we have. Okay. The Electoral Act, you know, and the Constitution provide for right of recall. If you take my mandate, I am party and his party, and you believe in me, I believe in you, I gave you all the support, both financial, both material, because the agents are party agents, not your own agents. Mm. Yeah. Okay? And then you get it, you do not longer want the party, my party, to sell mm. to Nigerians what we promised. Mm. So you think that is his own mm -hmm. manifesto that is now better. Mm -hmm. You will drop my own thing. Okay, for thank me. you. I take that as your round off point as we are rounding off. Well, uh, what's your take in terms of conclusion? Uh, okay, in this? Uh, let me let me say that uh, the pa partisanship mm. is supposed to be driven by ideology. But I can tell you that today, most of the politicians don't even know the manifesto or the ideology of their political parties. Okay, but, do you, but do you concur with what he said? What he said in terms uh, yes, of... Yes, yes, uh, in, in bringing capital. sanity. Yes, yes, of course, of course. They, they must deny it as I think that is one thing they should really focus on. But, uh, but, but, but doesn't that in any way in, in, infringe on the rights of the When of there the is party law, members? it is no longer a right. When there is something passed into law and it becomes like a law. Okay, you so know, that should be... We, we cannot continue like this. But, this but, but again, there is this big friction that may be anticipated because even those who rule uh, want a numerical strength. And so if that becomes the case, uh, that could also jeopardize that numerical strength that they could be getting from other parties. That is the reason why I'm saying that. Are we concerned about building a nation or about building individuals, individuals. or parties? That is the golden question. Okay. Is it nationhood or parties or individuals? You know, that, that's why, for me, there are some tough decisions, like the President has said, that yes. we should take, that will help save this country. It's about Nigeria. It's not just about party or individuals. There are certain laws that doesn't necessarily have to favor an individual or a certain political party, okay. but it will benefit the nation. Thank you. You Thank know, you. because it's not a mess for you to, every now and then. You're going to see it in the days to come. Thank you. Wow. We're going to take some time to dwell on yeah. this in subsequent right. discussions. Thank you, Osage. Okay, as we round off, what do you make of that? In yeah, one minute, I, I actually concur with him because okay. when you come in through a party platform, yeah. through their benevolence, through their good way, through yeah. their ideology, their finances, and the popularity of a party, mm. there are some parties that cannot win election in, in some parts of the nation, but through their party popularity, you got all those largesse, like, yes. office, and everything. Yes. And if for, for you, for, for you, if you want to leave that party to another party, the, the, the law should, just as like I said, they should make a law. Because you should drop whatever you got from there and come to build that party that you feel that the ideology is not better than where you're coming from. Okay, so and grow from the ranks. So the bill, so back. the bill should be sponsored. So yeah, we can we sponsor the bill. Thank you, 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 well, a lot has been said here. Oh, we right. just hope that the polity, the government, the institution should be pragmatic enough to evolve these changes. And uh, we just also hope that consolidating on the outcome of the presidential poll, uh, we bring about better things for us and uh, uh, we cut across uh, political divides, uh, removing political sentiments, and ensure that we uh, build Nigeria. Nigeria is our country. Uh, the blood that flows in our vein speak Nigeria. So we should act that way.